Hey guys, welcome to another video. We are just gonna blow them away. All right. Um, going back to here, you'll see, you know, if we have a lot of omega-6s in our diet and not a lot of omega-3s, it might lead to more inflammation in our body. And that's why a lot of people with inflammatory conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, et cetera, actually take like flaxseed oil therapeutically in large doses to, to kind of tip their balance over to the non-inflammatory side. And indeed, you know, we're finding more and more diseases tend to have an inflammatory component to them. So in a raw vegan diet, you have omega-3 and omega-6. And omega-3 is converted to ALA, and then it is converted to DHA and EPA, which is the health components that decreases mortality from cardiovascular disease. These are great. What's so great about these things? Well, they block the inflammation stage. So we also have omega-6, which Michael Greger says is the not so great fats. And you know, AA is not so great. This is the great fats, not so great. And the human body always favors the omega-3 but if there is a strong uh, a ratio against the omega-3 the body will favor omega-6 so if the ratio between omega-6 and omega-3 is 20 to 1 or 10 to 1 the body will favor to convert omega-6 to LA to AA so it, it won't convert as much omega-3 to DHA and EPA. But the body favors omega-3. Because if you have a ratio between... Uh, if you have omega-6 and omega-3 and have a ratio between uh, 4 to 1, 2 to 1 and 1 to 1, the body favors omega-3. And I took an example here for a raw vegan, uh, like a half day. So two kilo mango and half a kilo arugula and here you can see the the components of the omega-3 and omega-6 and for for this 2400 calorie meal it sums up to 1.9 grams of omega-3 and 1.1 gram of omega-6 and we know and i checked up a study and in canada they recommend a daily minimal intake of omega-3 for males are 1.5 grams so by just only eating 200, uh, 2400 calories we can meet the recommended daily intake easy and for females it's even lower 1.1 before because females are usually smaller than males I, I think they corrected for size in this study but but here is the here is the recommended daily intake so this amount of omega-3 and omega-6 ends up with a ratio between omega-3 and omega-6 between 1 to 2, 1. And a ratio between omega-6 and omega-3. That is one, 1 to 4. So don't mix it up here. So it's omega-3, omega-6. So we have more omega-3 in the raw vegan diet than omega-6. But in the recommendation, this is omega-3 and omega-6. So in the recommendation, you should... They're, they're still okay to have more omega-6 than omega-3. But you shouldn't go over a 1-4 ratio. Because if you go under this, it's associated with a 7% decrease in mortality. Decrease in mortality. Now that's pretty, that's pretty big. That's pretty big. So it's really important to be under 1, 4. Omega 3, Omega 6. And if you go even lower, uh, Omega 3, Omega 6, 1 to 2, 5, we have a, a reduced rectal cell prolification in patients with colorectal cancer so if you go even lower 
there's even evidence that supports that it's helping body fight some types of cancer. And, and the ratio here is, is so much lower because this is omega-3 and omega-6 so we have even more omega-3 and omega-6 and the body doesn't need a lot of omega-6, the body needs more omega-3 but it's important that the ratio is somewhat in between this, this span there's got, there's got to be a balance here I, 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 I couldn't find any data on how much omega-3 you can eat and like how little omega-6 you can eat so like the, the maximum omega-3 and the minimum omega-6 I couldn't find any study because everyone is so focused about decreasing omega-6 and raising omega-3 because that's what most people are failing today because they're eating so much omega-6 most people are between 1 to 10 or 1 to 20 and as I show here the the plant-based foods with the most, with the most omega-3 are leafy greens and flax seeds. And leafy greens can be raw and flax seeds can be raw. So there, there's no problem whatsoever to get enough DHA and EPA. So you will have a healthy cardiovascular system and decrease your mortality rate. So these two items can, can be eaten by a raw vegan. So they claim that raw vegans can suffer from omega-3 deficiency or DHA deficiency. It's wrong. It's not science-based. This claim is science-based. And this is only for 2400 calories. And if you're active, you're gonna eat more than this. So you're gonna hit these targets easy. And some people might say two mangoes is a lot, but half a kilo arugula is not a lot. And considering that two kilo mangoes is for maybe a breakfast and a lunch, that's one kilo for each meal. And also if you type in, in bananas, the ratio becomes pretty much similar, because fr most fruits have pretty much the similar ratio here between omega-3 and omega-6. So it's really easy to get enough fat on a, on a raw vegan diet. So I, I also typed in a, a typical day of a raw, raw till four, like a, a meal day from Freely's book. And the ratio became a one, two, like omega three, omega six, one, two ratio. So it's under this and I checked the other day and it came about one, four. So uh, it's still, gives you the benefit of decreased mortality and other days were 1-2 also so most of the days in the raw to 4 diet are 1-2 or lower or some are 1-4 that's usually when there's beans involved but if you're eating a strict raw diet without coconuts you will, all, you will usually get a really favorable ratio here between omega-3 and omega-6 so bro i hope you watch this video and so you can correct what you say to people in the future because a raw vegan diet is really healthy and you won't have any problem with omega-3 if you eat enough if you eat if you if you eat this standard you will have no no problem whatsoever with omega-3 i'm not saying that people should eat this every day that's not my that's not what my video is about people need to eat other stuff too fulfill their needs for minerals, other vitamins. So this is just an example for this. And with, with just only eating this, you can fulfill this need with a lot. So there's a lot of margin here. And leafy greens, flaxseed can all, all be eaten raw. I'm not here to say a vegan diet is bad like a normal. I'm just here to say that a raw vegan diet is sufficient in omega-3 so we're not having misinformation going around on the internet. So it's better if we can agree that a vegan diet, a raw vegan diet can fulfill the need to reduce your mortality rate with 7%. So 
Guys, go smash in your leafy greens and flaxseed.